Out here in the Mojave Desert, in the middle of nowhere, probably 30 or 40 miles west of Las Vegas, watching out for snakes in the underbrush here. And I found another weird thing. Several years ago, an artist set up an art installation way out here in the desert, and it's proven so popular, and so many people have come to see it, that they left it up. It's called Seven Magic Mountains, and it's a bunch of boulders that have been painted and stacked not too far from the highway. But I'm out here on a Wednesday around lunchtime on a work day, and there's all these people coming out here to see this. The Seven Magic Mountains of Nevada. Seven Magic Mountains is a large-scale public artwork by Hugo Rodinone that was built after five years of planning. The installation, comprised of seven individual towering structures, is situated on the far southern end of Las Vegas Boulevard along Interstate 15, approximately a half hour from downtown Las Vegas. But don't let the street address fool you. It's in the middle of the desert, so the site includes local wildlife like snakes, spiders, and scorpions. So it's like a dangerous art gallery in a wasteland. Seven Magic Mountains are made of 33 locally sourced limestone boulders stacked vertically in groups ranging from three to six. Each stone is painted a different fluorescent color and each individual mountain stands between 30 and 35 feet high. It is one of the largest land-based art installations made anywhere in the last 40 years. The piece was intended to be on view for two years beginning May 11, 2016 but it has proven to be incredibly popular, so the Bureau of Land Management has extended its license into 2021. And they are talking about extending it even further if the crowds keep driving out of the desert to look at these rocks. And they are. The artist Rodinone says that Seven Magic Mountains elicits continuities and solidarities between human and nature, artificial and natural, then and now. What does that mean? I have no idea. I'm just a guy who builds things in his garage. I mean, look at me. There's nothing fashion forward about me in any way. So who is Hugo Rodinone? He's a Swiss artist who makes weird sculptures, and that is why we like him. He's widely known for his temporary large-scale land art sculpture, and Seven Magic Mountains is what made him famous. A couple of years after Seven Magic Mountains was opened, he put another Magic Mountain in Liverpool, because why not? The Seven Magic Mountains are huge, and are even more huge when you factor in the completely flat and featureless desert around them. You can see the Seven Magic Mountains from the freeway if you know where to look, but it's better to make the short detour to see it up close. The parking lot's about an eighth of a mile walk to the sculpture over flat ground, which is guarded by those snakes, spiders, and scorpions I mentioned earlier. Seven Magic Mountains cost three and a half million dollars to make. Yes, three and a half million dollars for a pile of rocks. And one of the sponsors is MGM Grand Resorts. The funds were spent on fabrication costs, equipment rental, permitting, legal fees, educational components, road improvement, reclamation, staff, studio travel, ongoing project management, and of course, they bought the rocks. It was produced by the Art Production Fund and the Nevada Museum of Art in Reno. I had a chance to visit the Seven Magic Mountains in January of 2019, before the dark times, before the lockdown. I wasn't the only one. There were several vloggers out there setting up cameras. And there were two photo shoots underway in addition to that vlogger. This was amazing to me because this was noon on a Wednesday, just a regular day. And there were 50 people out there with me. And in the time I was there, about 50 more arrived. I haven't seen inanimate objects attract these kinds of crowds since I visited the Brady Bunch house a few years back. There's those two photo shoots I was telling you about. Just out taking pictures at the Magic Mountains on a random Wednesday afternoon. At the time of my visit, the Seven Magic Mountains had been installed for not quite yet three years. And you can see the effect the desert sun has had on the fluorescent colors. They've also had to repaint some of the lower stones because, well, graffiti artists have come out and defaced them. But whoever is maintaining this site is doing a great job. There wasn't a single piece of trash on the ground and the Magic Mountains were clear of any graffiti or any other problems. The only real wear and tear that I saw was what the sun had done to the paint. 
Even though the Seven Magic Mountains are in the middle of the desert, they're actually across the street from another historical oddity. On January 30th, 1905, workers drove the last spike that completed the railroad between Salt Lake City, Utah, and Los Angeles, California. The spike was actually cast of silver, but it's gone now. It's just a regular spike, so if you go see the Magic Mountains, you're not going to get any silver. But what was the middle of nowhere back in 1905 is now the coolest place to go in Las Vegas to see weird desert art. Who would have thought that would happen? Seven Magic Mountains is a controversial piece of art. People love it or hate it before they've seen it. Now that you've seen it, I'm sure you've already made up your decision. When you're out traveling, always look for the weird stuff because it's just, it's just wonderful to see things like this and the creativity that somebody else put together. Um, it's just great. Now, it's not true. There's, it says it's seven. There's actually eight Magic Mountains. Um, I found another one right here. There's the eighth one. It's not been painted yet, but it's it's there. So, so the eight Magic Mountains of of Nevada. This is what makes traveling fun.